Hello. I'm going to demonstrate uh, the difference between the Honer Model 261 and Model 263 chromaticas. This is the Model 261. Fairly rare. It's an inline chromatic which is octave tuned. It is blow only. This is the, the Honer model 263 which is configured pretty much the same as the 261. It's an inline chromatic except it is blow and draw and you get the same note both on blow and draw so it uh, is great for the musician to help save a lot of air because it does take a, a, a bit of breath to, uh, to play this instrument. First, uh, let me say both of these instruments have uh, 35 notes, which is one note short of two octaves, <clears throat> and they have uh, 70 reeds. This 263 uh, has 35 and 35 identical to the first 35 because it's blow draw. The 261 the second 35 reads are an octave lower than the first uh, 35. Now first, and again I'm no, not a musician but I know where the notes are, um, I'll play a few notes on the on the 263. First the lowest note on the 263 is the G below middle C. I can blow and draw. And as I go up the scale, it goes G, F sharp, I mean G, G flat, A, B flat, B, C. Every note in the scale in order. And I'm out of breath. These are used for glissandos and also for solo playing and harmony. That's the lowest note, G, on the 263. Blow and draw are the same. Now to the 261, which was never really popular, but it's kind of a very interesting instrument. Its lowest note is A below middle C, which is a little bit higher than the 263 for the high note of the pair, and here it is. This is the A. No, it's not. It's upside down, as always. That's A below middle C. I'm just playing the one note of the pair. And this isn't meant to be played a single note of the octave pair because the comb is is recessed between the upper and lower holes to prevent uh, you from doing an effective lip block to separate the notes. Now I'll play both A's. So that's the A below middle C and the A that's one octave lower. Compare that to the A on the 263, which does not have the, uh, the lower octave. So I can blow and draw, but it's not an octave lower. Now I'll attempt to play single uh, notes, single octave notes on the 261. Now, uh, as I say, these are used for glissandos 
and uh, as a matter of fact to those who play solos on it if, if, on these if they need to jump from one note to a note that's pretty far away they can't judge the distance and they might end up on a sharp or a flat or the wrong note adjacent which is very unforgiving they'll use a quiet glissando sometimes to get into that and go like that yes so here goes a glissando on the octave tuned 261 much uh, richer and organ like than on the more popular um, 263. I'll do it again on the octave tuned, 261. That's the difference between the two. I apologize for not being a musician, but I wanted to demonstrate this for a friend who requested the difference. Thank you.